Testing one, two, testing one, two. What's good, my family? Welcome back to the channel. Y'all know today is podcast day. Looking forward to it, y'all. Y'all know I love doing these interviews. And guess what, y'all? I'm fully updated. We're posting all the Lavish Journey podcasts, except for the one we just did two days ago, y'all. So all the creative talks are up. All the with the podcast shenanigans is up. Everything is up to date. Like I told you, I'm trying to come super duper efficient. But we're waiting for my homie Cash to come through, y'all. She has like three different brands, y'all. So this should definitely be a dope podcast, man. Boss woman, boss mommy, super mommy, all that stuff. And, you know, I've been watching her on Facebook for the last, like, few years. And I've been, like, noticing her growth. So this is definitely, like, a long overdue interview, y'all. And I keep trying to tell everybody, when you have a brand or something, you must post on social media. Because me being a consumer, I've been watching her growth for, like, the last two or three years. And now we're finally linking up. So that shows that wherever you post, people are watching. For, for instance, I was watching. I've been liking her stuff, loving it. You know what I mean? She got her new business. She had got her license and all this stuff. And I was like, that's dope. You know what I mean? So now you're finally about to chop it up, talk about everything she do. It should be a super dope podcast. This should be up in the next two days, y'all. Like I told y'all, I'm trying to drop all this shit super duper fast because the faster I drop this, the more content I can push out and everything. But yeah, I'm just ready to do this, y'all. Oh, and by the way, you see the Tiki Man back there. Shout out to the Tiki Man. Ooh, wee. And look, we got, oh, you can't see the surfboard. But look, and we also got the, the flute over here. Y'all know I got that back in 2016. I'm pretty sure I told y'all this story like 3,000 times. That's like my hippie face. Oh, yeah, we got new additions to the basement. So, y'all know it's a lot of shit down here. You know, we got all this shit over here and everything on the lights and all this stuff plugged up. So, all this shit was going to one outlet, which is right over here, right? It was all going in here. And I used to hear like some weird shit in the headphones because there was too much shit plugged up. But look here, y'all. We have a new outlet. And this new outlet plus into that heater. So I don't got to worry about all that interference with all that. You know what, man? Like I always tell y'all, it's all about those little investments, man. Those little investments matter the most. So now I don't got to worry about too much, but I just got done doing a whole bunch of sound checks because the last few podcasts, y'all, they've been great. But it's been like little weird shit. Like towards the end of the podcast, either the video would cut out or the sound would cut off or some kind of weird shit. You know what I mean? So that's what I come down here at least an hour before now. Make sure the mics work. Make sure my camera got enough memory on this. Make sure everything is rolling smoothly, y'all, because I hate having those interruptions. That ah, that irks me, you know what I mean? But while well, this being said, my family, we about to get rolling. If you're scared to fail, then entrepreneurship is not for you. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just real. Like, you know, I've, I've been there. I was at low points even when I was vacant. And it wasn't, like I said, I never stopped because... It was like I wasn't making any money. Mm -hmm. That wasn't it. Mm -hmm. It was just that I'm not happy with this. I've tried many different ways to do this. Right, right. What can I do that makes me happy? Mm, what up, though? I'm back again with the steak. You already know. I love that steak. We got the corn right here, and we got the mashed potatoes and the gravy. I just want to go and show you this before I get rolling. You know, show off the food. Let's go. Today's gas price is 175. Believe it or not, y'all, that's kind of high compared to the west side of Cleveland. The west side is like a dollar fifteen to a dollar thirty. Meanwhile, it's 175 over here. Boom! And just like that, Coventry is super dead, y'all. This has been the most emptiest I've ever seen it before. But y'all know me. I'm going to guys' piece over here. Hold on, real quick. Let me get my free 15 minutes. Always get your free time when you come to Coventry, y'all. Always, you dig? Uh, hold on. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Man, hopefully they got some fresh pizza in here. Hopefully I can even walk in here to get my pizza. Yeah, I should be able to because how people get, get their orders. But hopefully it's some fresh slices. If it's not, I'm going to be sad. Oh, it's some fresh slices. I hope probably so. We're going to see. Sheesh. Damn. Voila, you know what y'all, springtime is definitely here right now. So obviously y'all know I just got done doing Uber, DoorDash and all that stuff. Okay, so I was driving, right? And I was driving through Chagrin Falls. That's like about 30 minutes from where I live at y'all. And as I was driving doing my last delivery, boom, it started raining, but it looks so beautiful y'all with so much lightning just flashing. And I kept on trying to get some good footage for the light, but I couldn't get it y'all, but it was beautiful y'all. I know that sounds kind of weird. Like what you mean it's beautiful? I don't know. 
It's like when I was younger, I did not like thunderstorms or rain or none of that stuff. But as you get older, it's so soothing. Like when you come home, when it's raining and you crack your window a little bit and you just, ah, just let everything soak in, you know what I mean? But I guess spring is officially here, y'all. And it's safe to say we passed the winter this year. Yay! Because it barely snowed this year. As y'all saw my vlogs, y'all probably saw some snow kind of a little bit in January, a little bit in December, and a little tiny bit in last month. This month, it was like, I think probably snow once or twice, if that. So it's safe to say we finally passed winter, y'all. That'd be funny as fuck if it starts snowing in April. I'll be like, damn. But no, I, honestly, though, I think we passed the uh, winter time. I think we really did. Super blessed for it, though, y'all. Looking forward to spring. No, all this shit's going on. I'm still looking forward to spring. It's supposed to be warm tomorrow. It's supposed to be warm for the next few days, I think. And that's cool with me, you know what I mean? Because I love going to the park. I'm thinking about doing my next podcast show at the park. My personal podcast. My podcast on here, I haven't done one since... um december of 2019 it's been like down there four months so i think to come back on that show i'm probably gonna do one at the park and the reason why i stopped last time y'all besides me getting sick that one week or those two weeks is because i don't know i just started getting drained of doing that shit every week at first it was fun and then it became like a priority like oh you gotta do this podcast every week and i just didn't fight doing it no excuses just didn't fight doing it but i'm definitely going to go back doing that definitely why i get done with this vlog challenge because i don't know i need some type of way something to express myself so i thought if i do the podcast outside in nature you know that'd be pretty dope and y'all know i got that voice recorder now so now i'm able to do podcasts wherever you did but today is going to be about a topic since y'all know i don't got no fun facts of the day no icebreakers i decided to do a little research a little bit of research y'all so um today's topic is social media i have three questions going to answer that i found online okay how do social networks make how do social networks make a person addicted to social media um i can speak only for myself when it comes to this and probably for everybody else a little tiny bit um personally y'all it's so simple. It's right on our phone. Like, you know what I mean? Of course, back in the day, you had to call somebody. Hey, let's link up and meet here. Hey, let's do this. Nowadays, I go right on Instagram, send a message. Hey, what's up? Or say, or send a picture or a video chat somebody, FaceTime. It's a lot more convenient, a lot more beneficial. You know what I mean? And that's pretty cool. You know, um, I guess that does make us addicted as well because it also has a lot more out there than just people. It has like funny videos i post my podcast clips on there i network on there it's so many things in social media that we actually use on a day-to-day -day life basis that it kind of like attaches us to that damn to our phone you know what i mean i ain't gonna lie to y'all i'm attached to my phone a lot i wake up in the morning you know i check stocks now and i check my social media see what's going on see what the videos are then it's too negative i get the fuck off of it but yeah i think because it's so beneficial and it's everything right in our hand and we get to see what people are up to and it's like a non-stop somebody's always posting somebody's always it's always like a news update on social media it's always something on there to keep us entertained and i feel like that's the main reason why we're addicted to it all right mm. Does social media connect or disconnect people? Really good question. Okay, I'm gonna speak for right now what's going on in the world. I feel like social media connects people. I know a lot of people be like, oh no, it don't, it dis disconnects everyone. No, it doesn't, y'all. Like for instance, this quarantine shit's going on, everybody is connecting like a motherfucker on social media. Not obviously physically in person, but more so through like these live videos I keep seeing, these these videos I keep seeing on posts of each other, or people trying to like communicate with each other virtually. And I like that, although I know it's not in person, it's still connection. Cause some of these people live across the states, you know what I mean? And they still find a way to connect with each other. I think that's pretty fucking dope in my eyes, y'all. Because I think people bash social media because they're so used to the old school way of shit. I miss meeting people in person. Well, get your ass up and meet them in person. But me personally, if I wanted, like, I went live, uh, I went live last week on my social media and had a great time. I barely go live by myself on social media. I went live. I was talking to Raja Poet for like 45 minutes. I was talking to everybody else on there. I was asking them questions. I was engaging with the audience and that shit was so fun, y'all. Because, I mean, it's good to be in person, but it's also better to just sit at home or in my own environment, cut on my life, interact with my audience. You know what I mean? I look at that in a good way. So I honestly, I honestly feel like it connects people. It can disconnect people if you're just stuck on your phone all the time, not interacting with anybody, just scrolling, just looking at people. That's fucking creepy. I mean, if you like to do it, it's cool. But if I, if I feel like that's the way um, that people can disconnect um, with each other, it's just by scrolling, not interacting, just being a weirdo on social media. And last but not least, how is social media beneficial to you? Oh, you already know, man. 
I built my whole brand on social media. Social media is the reason why who I am today. I know that sounds like, what do you mean? But um, me being an introvert slash extrovert, social media helped um, me meet people. You know what I mean? I slid in a lot of DMs, you know, when social media came out. Definitely early 2013, 14. Um, Cause I was nervous to go talk to people. Hey, what's up and all that. So I would slide in DMs, message people, get to know them. Um, I would post pictures and stuff. It helped me get into art as well. Not art and painting, but such as creativity as photography, videography, podcasting, of course. It helped me uh, network. It helped me market my brand. It helped me do so much shit, y'all. Without social media, y'all probably wouldn't see me on this camera right now. You know what I mean? Although I don't post a lot of these clips on Instagram, and Facebook, and none of that, it's still the simple fact that all this shit started on social media. You know what I mean? I think my first post of me talking to the camera, I posted on social media, you know? And then, of course, I posted on YouTube and different outlets. But yeah, social media has been very beneficial for me, helped me build a lavish journey, helped me develop myself, helped build on my confidence. It's um, helped me network. It's um, helped me connect to people across the world. It helped me even meet people that I have yet to meet in person. You know what I mean? It's people I met on social media we have yet to meet in person, but we know each other through Facebook. For instance, Cache, that who came through today. I never met her a day in my life, but I had her on social media for three years and I saw her develop for the last three years. You know what I mean? Boom, we finally met today all because of social media. So without social media, I wouldn't have met her. And also, by the way, y'all, I got a really dope interview coming up on Monday. It's also from somebody I randomly met on social media. I'm gonna talk to y'all a little more detail about that on Monday to get y'all more content on it. But yeah, y'all, social media is great to me. I know it has the negatives, but for me, it's more positive. You know what I mean? You just gotta know how to bounce and not lock into it like a weirdo all the time, you dig? But what it's being said, my family got a podcast tomorrow. It should be a smooth day tomorrow. I'm just going to chill on out, get the money, do a podcast, keep it rolling, you dig? Peace, love, my family.